Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to handle collisions. So we're allowed, if you know, if we hit the red wall, we're going to die. And watch the gas here. As I hit this, gas goes down. So you hit the red wall, you die. And the game just restarts. So we want to land down here, right? We want to make it so where if we land at an angle, right, let's say we land like this, you die. If you don't land at an angle, but you land too fast, let's go ahead and do that. So let's say we're not at an angle, but we land too fast. Oh, okay, that was okay. You might want to make the gravity a little, a little uh, higher. So basically, you just want to make sure you can land straight. That's that's what we're going to code here. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So we left off where we did the um, the game loop. So our game loop is done, which is great. This whole thing is done. And if you look at it, you should tell me basically what each section could do. You should know what, what this does. You know, you should know what these things are doing. You should know what this means, keys down. Um, so we'll go through all that, but you should have known that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is check collision. So you'll notice in the end of the game loop here, before the if statement's over, you go to move the ball and then collision. Let's let's actually do the move the ball first. This is what's going to make the rocket move. So that's pretty pretty important, I think. Okay. So this is it. Let me explain what's going on. You're going to put gravity plus S speed Y into S speed Y. S speed Y is going to be the, the um, vertical or horizontal position of the ship, of the rocket. Um, you're going to put S speed X plus S rocket X into S rocket X. So uh, this is going to be the, the left and right position of the rocket. You don't need that. Um, put S speed Y plus S rocket Y into S rocket Y. So this is just basically making sure that we get the proper S speed Y and S speed X. We add it to our, our current rocket X. You could just basically say add S speed X to rocket X, S rocket X, and add S speed Y to S rocket Y. We do the same thing. This is just changing the S rocket X and Y. Now, why do we do that? You set the loc of image rocket image to S rocket X, S rocket Y. S rocket X and S rocket Y represent the X and Y position of the location of our rocket. So the loc is broken up into an X and Y position. And in our case, the X and Y position is S rocket X and S rocket Y. If S speed Y is greater than 1.5 then, so this will allow me, or won't allow me I should say, to fall faster than 1.5. If I want to change this to like 3, that means I could fall all the way up to three units per per tick. Okay. So again, this is a limiter. This is similar to what we did up top with the uh, negative value, which was well, I'll do it later. If the left of image rocket image is greater than 680, so what this is doing is um, wrapping wrapping the ship around the screen. So you're saying if the rocket image is greater than 680, which just happens to be our room width you're putting zero into the rocket X. So let me show you what this is doing. I'll just give you a quick example. So let's say I play it, right, and I do this. Whoop. See, it wraps. It also wraps the other way. See that? Those of you who've had a... Uh, I, I died because I ran out of gas. Those of you who've had Game Maker understand all that. Hopefully. Um, so again, this is just wrapping from right to left, this area here, right? And this one here, the else if, if it's less than three, that you could put less than zero. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just put three. It, it looked, it looked better like that. This is wrapping from, uh, from left to right. So this is going off the left side of the screen and entering the right. So just know that these lines down here, this if statement, from here to here is taking care of the horizontal wrapping. We don't have vertical wrapping, obviously. 
So that's all there is to it. Know that S rocket X and S rocket Y are the um, location of our rocket. And that S speed X and S speed Y are changing S rocket X and X rocket Y. And gravity is adding, is always constantly being added to S speed Y every time. So that means we constantly have this downward function uh, force. If I were to delete this, boop, my ship would no longer fall. It would just stay there. So that's, that's why that's really important to do that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all there is for the movement. And let's go ahead and do the collisions. Okay, so we call two things. We call it move the ball. You should actually call this move the rocket. I'm just being silly. And uh, collision. So let's look at the collision. Um, this is called a function, an intersect function. Basically what you're saying is if rocket image and the ground image, the ground image is the green one. So if you look at the name, that's the ground image. If they intersect, if they're, you know, their pixels are overlapping, put stop in a moving rocket, so, you know, it doesn't move anymore. If speed Y is greater than 5, you die. Um, we should probably say something like greater than, like, 1.5, something like that. Or maybe even greater than, you know, make it difficult, greater than, like, 1. Then you die. So this so you have to be going really slow in your landing. If you go too fast, you'll die. Um, then ask, you know, I just said ask you die. This is just letting the user know they died. That's all there is to it. And then we called the reset values function. Else if the angle is greater than 4 or less than negative 4. That means we're 4 degrees off. Um, so if you're looking at, if we land, like let's say this is our ship. And we land and we're like that, you die. And we land like that, you know, you die. It's a small, pretty small margin. You have a total of 8 degrees. You really want to try to land where your ship is straight like this. If you're like that, you know, and you land, even if you're going the right speed, so we're dropping, boop, 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 boop. But if you land and you're a little crooked, you're going to die. So that's what that code is doing. Where are we? Okay, that's what this is doing right here. That's just taking care of the angle. Else, this you get to this if what happens? Well, your, your speed is not greater than y. And you are not angled. So that means you're falling really slow and you're straight. So if you're falling really slow and you're less than negative 4 and 4, you landed properly. Good job. And then down here you could reset the values. You don't really need to do this since we did it here, but it's just, I, I guess it's good practice. Um, this end if is obviously ending this if. This end if is ending this if. And this end if is ending this whole thing where this is this whole block of code is just taking into account the rocket hitting the ground. Now this is easier. If the rocket hits the bad wall, you just uh you could say like we just restarted the game. You could say you die or something, you know, but that's all that's doing. Uh I have one for each bad wall. You know, each each object that you have, you have to make it intersect. So if you have 10 walls, you'll have to unfortunately make 10 of these, which is sort of annoying, but whatever. It's it's it is what it is. Um and that's let's see. I think that's it. We have our reset and our start values, our move the ball, should be called move the rocket. You have your collision, you have your game loop, you know what everything does here. You have your game play. Um, yep. And that's it. So this basically, uh, this game loop calls itself until, uh, until the um, moving rocket doesn't equal stop. This is uh, this is when it won't call itself. This is when our game stops. And there you go. That's that's the whole game. That's it. I, I hope uh, you found this tutorial um, somewhat entertaining and, and you learned how to make a game from it. Test out your game. Make sure it works. And then I'm going to have a sheet to give you guys some add-ons.